मिनरल न्यूट्रिशन द टेक्निक ऑफ हाइड्रोपोनिक्स प्लांट्स रिक्वायर अ नंबर ऑफ मैक्रो मॉलिक्यूल्स लाइक कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स प्रोटीन्स फैट्स वॉटर एंड मिनरल्स फॉर देयर ग्रोथ एंड डिवेलपमेंट दे ऑप्टेन एंड यूटिलाइज दीज केमिकल सब्सटेंसेस फॉर देयर नॉर्मल ग्रोथ एंड डिवेलपमेंट जूलियस वॉन सैक्स इन द ईयर एटीन सिक्सटी फर्स्ट डेमोन्स्ट्रेटेड दट द प्लांट्स कुड बी ग्रोन टू मेच्योरिटी इन अ डिफाइंड न्यूट्रियट सोल्यूशन इन कम्प्लीट एबसेंस ऑफ सॉइल दिस टेक्निक ऑफ ग्रोइंग प्लांट्स इन अ न्यूट्रियट सोल्यूशन इज कॉल्ड हाइड्रोपोनिक्स द डायग्राम शोन हियर इलस्ट्रेट्स द टेक्निक ऑफ हाइड्रोपोनिक्स हाइड्रोपोनिक्स हैज बीन सक्सेसफुली एम्प्लॉयड फॉर द कमर्शियल प्रोडक्शन of a variety of vegetables differences between macro elements and micro elements plants require elements for normal growth development and reproduction on the basis of the amount of elements found in plants elements are differentiated into micronutrients and macronutrients Micronutrients or trace elements are needed by plants in very small amounts while macronutrients are present in large amounts within the plant tissues other major differences between the two are tabulated here mineral deficiency symptoms and cause a list of some important deficiency symptoms in plants is given here nitrogen as a mineral element apart from carbon hydrogen and oxygen nitrogen is the most prevalent element in living organisms it forms an important constituent of amino acids proteins hormones chlorophylls and many vitamins nitrogen enters the food chain through plants atmospheric nitrogen cannot be utilized by plants therefore it has to be fixed that is combined with elements like carbon hydrogen or oxygen to form compounds prior to utilization this process of conversion of atmospheric nitrogen into nitrogenous compounds to make it available to plants for absorption is called nitrogen fixation to illustrate the formation of easily absorbable nitrogenous compounds nitrogen fixation is shown here note the various reactions involved in this process nitrogen fixation symbiotic association with bacteria Certain bacteria live in symbiotic association in the plant tissues and help in nitrogen fixation. Rhizobium bacteria are one such symbiotic bacteria. This bacterium lives in soil to form root nodules in plants belonging to family leguminous. Root nodules are small irregular outgrowths on the roots which contain all the necessary biochemical components. required for nitrogen fixation a series of steps showing the development of root nodules in soya bean is illustrated here